This bill is dangerous for many reasons. Uh, again, the essence of it is another attack on Second Amendment rights and hunting rights in New York State. It's cloaked in management practices that will actually, quote unquote, uh, as I understand correctly, control for current rights, but just stop the ability of organizations, groups, et cetera, from charging or making any money off of a contest, which if the species we were talking about were fish, would be, com would be um, okay and fine. And so it's the essence, it's the essence of what's, what's being potentially put into play here. And I want to speak, I'm glad, I'm, I'm glad we talked about agriculture because I want to put forth a few facts about agriculture and coyotes. And I would love to show all of you what a coyote kill on a baby lamb looks like and how many they kill. Goats, lambs, chickens, turkeys, fowl, etc. Just as an example, depredation accounted for 30% of total sheep loss and deaths, 40% of lamb deaths, and 15% of total production costs. That means every time you go to a store and buy a rack of lamb or a lamb chop, it's 15% higher because we're letting more coyotes run around. Every coyote that we can kill, and I understand the study that, that you're referencing, every single coyote that we can kill does disrupt that their social order. And ultimately, the fewer coyotes we have, the better. When it comes to your food costs, food security, protein diversity, all of this is impacted by the coyote, which if you remember those of us that are over 40, 35, 40 years ago, they're probably, the number of coyotes in New York State were almost non-existent. Now they're back. They, they, they impact several management practices by the DEC. Number one is the turkey reintroduction program. Coyotes are huge predators on turkeys. And I want to I, I want to go back for a minute just to make sure we cover uh, the data I have is 2019. And this is national. 47% 40 of kills of sheep nationally were from the coyote alone. You might think black bear, grizzly bear, mountain lion, that's about 4% to 5%. Number two, 34%, wild dogs, koi dog hybrids, and wolf, and, and wolf uh, uh, breeds with, uh, with the coyote. 34% again by dogs. The, the economic impact of that is 51.4 million spent on non-lethal control methods, 4.7 million on lethal control methods. And the bottom line is, is that as, as we try to yet curtail hunting rights even greater with something on the fringe, what's next? That's the, that's the question here. What's next? What's coming next? And I want to go back to sheep again, because what most people may not realize is one of the impacts of the CLCPA is every time another solar panel is set up in New York State, it increases the need for sheep for management. Whether you recognize that or not, that'll come out over the, over the ensuing years. Because sheep are the only species that can, that can control in that environment. Sheep are predated by coyotes extensively. Every coyote that can be taken reduces your cost of food in the grocery store. Just think about that. So when you complain about the high production cost of agricultural protein that you purchase, don't forget what you're doing to raise that cost on the other side of the ledger. I want to give one example of energy and control that sheep provide. And again, this comes back to the coyote, it comes back to this bill and how this bill will impede hunting rights, how it will impede the taking of coyotes, one of our most economically destructive species in New York State. It costs 60 cents per acre 
to graze noxious weeds and plants with sheep. It costs $35 per acre to spray via helicopter with herbicides. What does that have to do with this bill? Again, the relative importance of sheep, which their number one predation source in this state is the coyote, will increase as each year passes and with the installation of each new solar panel, whether you recognize that or not. I could speak forever on this. Ski resorts, vineyards, they're all resorting to sheep for management because it's cheaper, reduces carbon footprint, helps with sequestration, all of the things that the CLCPA claims to provide. Coyotes also kill domestic dogs, cats, chickens, everything that you might have in your backyard or in your home, coyotes target mercilessly and destroy them. So, to sum this all up, it's my belief that this bill is an explicit infringement on hunting rights and Second Amendment, <clears throat> Second Amendment privileges that we as Americans and New Yorkers hold very, very dearly. Cloaked in all other things, as I previously said, nonetheless, an overt attack. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.